um, this mural was actually, um, I was invited by Community Arts of Elmira to paint this one. Um, it is, uh, there's a, we're still working on the title of it, but the overall theme is Elmira's Creative Economy. Um, so there was a couple grants that went into funding this. There was another mural that was painted over on a parking garage um, in downtown by artist Samson Estrada. Gorgeous mural. Um, but it was meant to celebrate similar things to this one, and that's um, essentially the arts and culture in Elmira. Um, so uh, this right here is an osprey, which is meant to like kind of tie us back to Elmira's landscape and the, the wildlife here. Um, but we also have two figures. One of them is on the wall and in progress. One of them is not on the wall yet. Um, but we've got Ari and Cadell and Katya Raj, who are two dancers from Elmira. Um, but essentially the focus is impact. So not only the impact that some of these individuals have had on Elmira um, and then have had elsewhere when they left, but the impact that Elmira has had on them. So um, tying in historical arts and culture elements, tying in the landscape. I've got Shemung River that just kind of wraps around the scene, pulling in, um, you know, one of the things that really inspires me, you'd asked me about this prior, is uh, colors and textures. So love skies, love having that sky scene, gives it kind of um, an infinite sort of feeling of just looking onwards and upwards. Um, so uh, yeah, impact. Elmira, um, the people from here, where they're going, what impacted them here? Um, I love that uh, the two figures that CAE wanted me to capture were two women. Um, and uh, yeah, especially, especially as somebody who's a woman doing this, um, one of the things that I regularly face is people refusing to believe that I do the job that I do because I'm not a man. Um, and just in arts in general, um, women and people of color, free, really anyone who's not a white guy is very underrepresented, especially historically. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have some, some powerful figures who, um, I don't know, have been well represented elsewhere, but not really as well represented in the community where they come from. Uh, you know, Arian, for example, she's she's on Broadway. She's starring in Chicago right now. But I had never seen her face around here, never really heard of her until I heard of this project. Um, but I don't think that would necessarily be the case for somebody outside of Elmira who probably has seen her face on billboards there. So um, bringing somebody who got big elsewhere, especially like a very strong, powerful woman like that, to a wall here where she originally came from, where her roots were, uh, that's cool to me. And I always hope, I wanna say I always hope for a positive reaction, but um, just a reaction would be nice. Something that catches attention. Um, you know, some of my favorite reactions from people have, have not necessarily been positive reactions, but it's clear that it, it touched them enough that they felt the need to comment. And sometimes that is uh, good in of itself. I think creating, just the act of creativity makes you an artist. Um, so many people I talk to, I ask them, do you make art? And they'll say, oh, well, not like you. And that's, that's, that makes me so deeply saddened to the core because we can, I guess, find that sort of uh, means for creative expression in so many different places. Um, you know, for example, like historically women were never considered artists, but we, we embroidered, we created beautiful quilt works. Um, there was a lot of people who have been excluded from the arts who were doing beautiful, creative things for generations. And um, we, we need to stop diminishing and dismissing our own efforts. Um, so to me, being an artist is, is somebody who chooses to create and uh, it really doesn't matter what form they're creating in. Um, you could be baking pies, and I think you're an artist if you um, find love and connection and creative expression that way. <laughs>